All it's Christmas at Ground Zero. Um, now I can't count with my new diamond. I miss old Tom. It's Christmas at. Oh, hi. Yeah. So, a night before Christmas doesn't only happen here in the States. And even our guys across the sea get their visitations as well. And uh, in 2006, Trish Holland and Christine Ford, they decided to write another version and dedicated it to over soldiers overseas. So this is Soldiers Night Before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the base, only sentries were stirring. They guarded the place. At the foot of each bunk sat a helmet and boot, for the Santa of soldiers to fill up with loot. The soldiers were sleeping and snoring away, as they dreamed of back home on good Christmas Day. One snoozed with his rifle, he seemed so content. I slept with the letters my family had sent. When outside the tent there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my rack to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, poked out my head and yelled, What was that crash? What wind to my thrill and relief should appear, but one of our Blackhawks to give us all, give us the all clear. More rattles and rumbles, I heard a deep whine, then drove up eight Humvees, a jeep close behind. Each vehicle painted in bright Christmas green, with more lights and gold tinsel than I had ever seen. The convoy commander leaped down, and he paused. I knew then and there, it was Sergeant McClaws. More rapid than rockets, his drivers they came, when he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Cohen, Mendoza, Oslowski, McCord. Now Lee, Watts, Donatetti, and Specialist Ford. Go fill up my sea bags with gifts large and small. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. In the blink of an eye, to their truck the troops started. The engines did flutter, they sputtered, then started. The armored move out, it was duty or bust. McClaws disappeared in all the dust. As I joined my head and was turning around, through the tent flap the sergeant came with a bound. He was dressed all in camo and looked quite a sight, with the Santa hat, and hat added for his special night. His eyes sharp as lasers, he stood six feet six. His nose was quite crooked, his jaw hard as bricks. A stub of a cigar he held clamped in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. A young driver walked in with a sea bag in tow. McClaws took the bag, told the driver to go. Then Sarge went to work, and his mission today? Bring Christmas from home to the troops far away. Tasty gifts from old friends and the helmets he laid. There were candies and cookies and cakes, all homemade. Many parents sent phone cards the soldiers could hear. Treasured voices and laughter of those they held dear. Loving husbands and wives had mailed photos galore of weddings and birthdays and first steps and more. And for each soldier's boot, like a warm, happy hug, there was art from the children at home, sweet and smug. As he finished his job, did I see a twinkle? Was that a small smile, or just instead of a wrinkle? To the top of his brow he raised up his hand, and gave a salute that made me feel grand. I gasped in surprise when his face all aglow gave a huge grin and a big ho ho ho! Ho 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 from the barracks and then from the base! Ho 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 as the convoy sped up into space! As the camp radar lost him, I heard this faint call. Happy Christmas, brave soldiers! May peace come to all!